Oh boy. So these are simply my favorite headphones. And it's not just because they look like something you'd find in a dwarven ruin in Skyrim. Like my mum tried these and she nearly cried. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take a quick listen, mate. And it means we need to bring in the Herdo 600s by Sen, which are my audiophile referee. In 1997, these were the staple. And we're using the freakish ears on a stand to record this mess. And when you hear this recording, be aware that you're listening through your headphones or smart fridge speaker. It's a scary world now. <laughs> These are effortless, yet chilled out, like amazing bass. Like everything is separated. You can have big wobbling sub bass, yet the vocals are crystal clear. That's when really bassy music gets fun. And just comfort, holy heck comfort. And like, I, I can't dance around this, but these are $5,000 headphones. <laughs> if this was a car show, I'd be sitting in a Pagani. But these are so comfortable because of what they're made of. Like, they are huge, but your ears live in just padded luxury. So much space, but they weigh nothing. Which is not true, that's a lie. I lied to you. They're like 400 grams. But they fool everyone who holds them. It's the carbon fiber here. Like, no wonder F1 cars are made of this stuff. It's so strong, and it's like a feather. So thin. Amazing CNC machine parts and this big fat leather headband they're as comfortable as they look nay more comfortable than they look and what i love is this design is quintessentially romanian like looking into a romanian carved fences oh wow i love that they got a traditional style into their headphones and then like the technology going on inside of here regular headphones and speakers look like this this is called a dynamic driver and it's just this one piece of material making all the music so it makes big wobbles for the bass and all the treble and high end stuff is done in between it's in insane what even the cheapest dinkiest looking little speaker can do then you get planar magnetics which use this insanely thin film with traces on it that just it's what makes them so tight sounding and that bass extension these are on the next level where it's coiled to basically make two speakers within the one it also directs the sound right to where your eardrums actually are look how easily these come off to replace them because they give you another set i mean meze and <laughs> so beautiful God. Gosh, look how much is going on here. And then for your money, they give you this brilliant flight case, which is made of gosh dingus metal. I love dragging these around to places so all my mates can try them. But then Meze reach out to me and say that they've created an improved version. And I said, a what version? Uh, yeah, an improved version called the Empyrean Elites. They do be looking serious. <laughs> Overall design wise, it's mostly unchanged, which honestly is fantastic. Why would you create something this comfortable and then not use it again? And honestly, I didn't think there were gonna be many differences. Like they're based on the same platform. Beautiful removing ear cups, the same style driver, but no, these are really different. <laughs> Same flavor in a lot of ways, but the regular appearance are more chilled out, warmer, which means the top end isn't as sharp. These have more detailed top end, and it feels like they've reined in the bass just a little bit. But honestly, the recording you've just heard barely highlights it. Like through my MacBook, they almost sound the same. But in person, like the differences are quite astounding. And just the sound stage, like how 3D and wide it feels. I've heard stuff in music that I swore were noises coming from within my house. I had to take them off to go like, what was that? It's really fun when that happens, like the bongo man in September, right? With these, it sounds like he's in the kitchen nearby. It's super fun. You can't unhear him, by the way. But there's something else that these are doing that is honestly the icing on the cake and ultimately why I adore them so much. Oh. Let me introduce you to 
the stacks. These are electrostatic headphones. They're still that incredibly thin piece of plastic film, but the wires are either side of it, so nothing is touching it. And these were my way of owning incredibly high-end headphones on the cheap, because you betcha they were used. And naturally so, because these are from the 1980s. Let's take a quick listen. And this is why I don't do multiple cheap headphone videos, guys. Because good headphones stay good. They aren't like a console or a phone. Like, if you bought these 40 years ago, to this day, you are still in the top 10% of music listeners. Buy the good thing once. Headphones I've recommended only last year, those headphones are still good. Look, the foam has disappeared. You can see, like, the bare guts of this guy. They still sound great. And it was, like, late 70s they first brought these out. And it shows that super high-end audio was available. But let me show you what you had to do to experience it. Like, mate, the cable isn't long at all. It's only about the same distance as to the nearest bakery, mate. Look how big this cable is. Ugh. Bet it ends in one of these big dinguses, right? Which is super annoying. You have to get an adapter and, uh, uh, the hell does this plug into? Your dog? Oh, silly me. I forgot it needs the energizer. Yeah, an energizer. Here we go. One energizer. There's the ridiculous headphone port. Plugging that dingus in. Plugging it in. We're all right, mate. I've got my dingle dongus ready to go, mate. Let's go. What? What? You need to hook this up to full-on amplified speaker power. They wire in like a pair of floor standing speakers. And man, these need more volume than my huge boys made by Adelaide speakers. No lie, these need insane power to run. Let me say, while these are running, I'd hate to chew on this cable. Well, oh, mate, so these won't work out of my MacBook Air then. No, you ridiculous dingus. These barely work out of anything. <laughs> they need a dedicated place in your house to use them. They are plumbed in like an air conditioner, right? <laughs> oh, my Poxel, who did this? Both sets of the Imperians are 32 ohms. They run out of a MacBook, no worries, and I mean it. But I love playing with flat players and DAX and amps, but sometimes I just want to lay in bed and watch YouTube. I don't want to have to rig up a whole crazy rig. And just how stinking comfortable these are, just plug them in, Boom. A lot of high-end headphones are super picky about what they plug into. Where you need big amplified power, or in the case of the stacks, a room. Yet Meze have made these beauties and they are so unfussy. It reminds you of like a Tesla self-driving itself and then people are like, wow and then it outdrags a Ferrari. It's like, well, these are insanely beautiful and comfortable, yet sound amazing out of an iPod. Plug them into your bean. On the topic of high-end audio, I'm finally getting into vinyl. I finally have a speaker system that can make the most of it. And I made the trip into Addicted to Audio store here in Adelaide. They're the guys I buy all my Grados from. It's where I get my Fio stuff from. And I've always used their online store, but I actually drop by in person for advice. It's a showroom. It's meant to what stuff they have on display to try, and they even have vinyl days on Saturdays, so you can drop past and try it out. They have a hundred thousand dollar speaker system set up. Yes, a hundred thousand. <laughs> Welcome to speakers. Mine were three grand, handmade in Adelaide. I got a bargain. <laughs> so while shopping for a turntable, I brought the Mezes in with me to get some opinions from people who like actually sell this stuff. These are the only $5,000 headphones I've ever tried. <laughs> they agreed that these are insanely comfortable and that the Elites have more top-end detail and the Imperians have dat bass. All of us prefer the Elites, honestly. I'm a drummer. I like the extra top-end for cymbals and percussion or whatnot. And dat bass still fat, man. <laughs> but they loved them. They agree. At the super high end, it's all about preference. You know, what's more important to you? And for me, these just offer so much of everything. And thanks for all the turntable help, guys. I've only ruined one record so far. And the last point I want to make is supporting a company that's doing things the way we all want companies to be doing things. Meze is Romanian. And all the Romans going, that's us, man. They love it. <laughs>
Hello. And they're made in Romania. These guys are supporting their homeland and offering dream jobs to these people who spend their days making amazing audio equipment. Meze are really proud of what they're doing and they've been chipping away for ages. Like, they included this letter. The sparkle paper. Guys, you know I'm a real softy for stuff like this. This is, this is super nice. And this is why smaller companies rule. They can actually engage with their customers and support their products properly. I'm not going to get handwritten notes from Sony. And the worst support experiences I've ever had were always at the hands of the biggest companies. And we wonder how they get so rich. So if you want to try some Meze's, but you don't have five grand, naturally, they have the classic 99s as well. Meze's all about giving you everything you need. Like, this is a hard case. And you have no idea how hard it is to transport headphones around. These things are like wilting birds, man. It was terrifying driving them here. I can't wait to take these home. Like, when friends come over and I give them headphone tours, everyone gravitates towards these. Self-adjusting headband, closed backs, that's actual walnut there. They're still not cheap. I mean, instead of five grand, these are about 500 Aussie bucks or whatever it is in your currency, you work it out. But with the case and cables, and they're stinking beautiful. Most of my mates, honestly, they love the Imperians, but then they go, I would buy these though. <laughs> and if you want an even cheaper set, they do the Neos, where instead of Walnut, it's plastic. And Meze are mad lads and want to offer a 20% discount for anyone on the fence of getting some of these 99s. And I really support what they're doing, and heck, if they want to offer them cheaper, then, then why not? <laughs> Use this code on the link below. It's valid for two weeks. So if you're watching this after two weeks, well, I don't know what to say. Well, I mean, they're still worth the money anyway. But quickly, on the actual topic of, you know, if you dropped five grand on a set of headphones. My pairs of stacks are almost 40 years old, and it's like they're made out of melted down bin bags. Yet they're still here, and they dazzle anyone that wears them. These are forever headphones. The person who bought those stacks all that time ago would still be in that upper crust of headphone users to this day. Good headphones stay good. You're not buying something that's going out of date in a few years. You're buying something something that you could hand off to someone in 30 years time. Those stacks still cost proper money. Doesn't matter how old they are. And these are built on an insane standard. So if the stacks could hang around for 40 years, these could do it no problems. Playing out of your iPod or whatever. I love these, like these, these are my favorite headphones ever now. So well done Meze. I love what you're up to, but that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, because, mate, $1 a month, I do extra videos. Over the last year and a bit, I've been putting together my own speaker rig. Speakers are so expensive, and like, I finally put something together that I'm pretty proud of, to be honest, and I, I love the sound of it. It makes me smile ear to ear, and I'm finally getting into vinyl, and there'll be a vid about that at some point. <laughs> but I want to show you my rig. Frank will be there stinking up the vid, too. So thanks so much, mate. I'll see you all next time. It's happened, guys. Frank has pooed in her hammock. I really thought the hammock was out of bounds for pooing, and it disappoints me to learn that Frank is officially lawless from this day on. In fact, Frank, Frank, the hammock, your sanctuary. Don't let the couch.